Okay, we're back. So we have uh, another parallelogram. Even though there's no tick marks, I'm just going to flat out say this is a parallelogram. And we want to find x, y, and z. How are we going to find x, y, and z? Well, let's notice. Uh, if it's a parallelogram, what do we know? Both pairs of opposite sides are going to be parallel. What else do we know? Both pairs of opposite sides are going to be congruent. Well, I know those two sides in there are going to be congruent, and I know these two sides are going to be congruent. And so if they're congruent, we can set those uh, expressions equal to one another. And so what do we have? Well, I'm going to write down what? Well, 2x plus 10 equals 3x minus 5. And so, if you're clever about finding x in here, it looks like x turns out to be 15. Right. What else do we know? Well, y plus 8 is going to be equal to 2y plus 2. And if we solve for y, y turns out to be 6. And there's one more segment, set of segments that are going to be equal. And what do we know? What property is this? Well, this is the diagonals bisect each other. So it turns out these two expressions here, they're going to be congruent as well. So I can write z plus 6 is equal to 2z minus 4. And if you're clever about finding z, it looks like z turns out to be 10. And so what had happened? We just found x, y, and z. And from our other problems we've discovered, we can actually back substitute here if we want to define the lengths of any of these segments. But for now, we just want to find x, y, and z. Next video.